We launched in October, 20, October 23rd of 2007. What happened was we were, you know, we, we had trained uh, just for months, months and months about uh, these three spacewalks. Everything went great. Um, we disconnected that big tower. The arm came and grabbed it. The robotic arm moved it way out to the end of the wing, the port wing of the, uh, of the space station. Uh, we crawled out there. We bolted it down. We put grounding straps on. Everything was going great. And um, then while S uh, Scott Perizinski, my spacewalking partner, and I were making our way back to the airlock, they started Houston and our, our crew that was inside the space station started deploying that solar array. First one went out. They waited for that one that we were poking with a stick back months earlier. They were going to wait for that one last, so they put out one array. It got fully deployed. They charged it up, providing full power to the, to the space station. And then they started deploying the other array. And, and there's, there's a couple of things that you don't like hearing in space is, oops, that's not a good thing to hear while you're in space. <laughs> that's not a good thing. And uh, sorry, guys, my bad. That's not a good thing either. And, um, but the, the one that kind of sends you know, the hairs on the back of your neck standing up is abort, abort, abort. You know? And when you're outside in a spacesuit, you know, you know, with you and you know, the rest of the universe you know, uh, off in the distance, and the only thing between you and like, instant death is this little visor, and you hear the word abort, it's like, you know, what's happening? You know, is my suit OK? Am I, you know? So um, anyway, that array came out, and the, the, that guide wire, sure enough, that was giving them problems when they were retracting it. The guide wire caught up, tore, caught on one of the panels and tore one of the panels almost uh, about a third of the way across the panel. We had very, real smart people thinking about guys just like you guys, sharp engineers, we got to figure out a way to fix this. So how are we going to do this? We either have to retract the array, which we're not going to be able to do now because that guide wire is caught up. We're not going to be able to retract it. We can't extend it anymore because if we extend it, it's going to tear the array completely in half, and then we're going to have this end flopping out there, and that's not going to be a good thing. We can go out and unbolt it and throw it away. Not a good thing. And uh, we can abandon the station and just say, hey, guys, nice try. We, uh, you know, we just spent $100 billion in, uh, in 10 years trying to build this space station, and, um, and sorry, we couldn't get it right. So I thought, hmm. What if we took a piece of wire, and crazy young engineers in Houston thought of this, and on the end of it, we'll put a little swivel with like just a little piece of aluminum, and uh, we'll tape it uh, with a, some electrical, let's say, Kapton tape to keep it from, uh, from uh, you know, arcing to the, to the array. Push it through this little grommet, and then turn it on itself like a cufflink. Push it through the other side, and then we've bridged that gap. And we'll do that in all five grommets, and the solar array, we essentially, we give it five stitches and then extend it, and we think this can work. We thought, I said to Scott, I said, I told you, man, I told you. Now, now the, the thing is, we got to have, we got to use equipment that we have there on the space station. So, so they picked up a spool of wire, and we were watching them on the computer video conference, and they said, go into the lab, U.S. lab, look behind this panel, you're going to find a spool of wire just like this. So we flew over there, opened up that panel. There's all kinds of stuff in there. and pulled out. Sure enough, there's a, so we brought it back over. OK, now what you're going to do, you're going to go behind this panel, and you're going to find a sheet of aluminum. We need you to get, we need you to get the snips, and you're going you're gonna to snip this thing and make little cufflinks. And you're going to drill through and make this, put this little, uh, little uh, rot rotatable fastener or grommet on there. And you can find those over in the US node behind panel number such, such and such. So it took us about an hour to gather up all these things. And you know, it turned out to be you know, the, the unsolvable problem of, of the solar ray tearing turned in the most wonderful adventure of my life. You know, and the pinnacle of my career as, a, as, an, as an engineer. But we were able to fix that thing. We came back inside, and it was a victorious uh, uh, celebration. 